Hello and welcome to this course. First of all, let me thank you for picking my course. I'm glad that you want to learn all about gradients. So this course is all about gradients in Adobe Illustrator and we're going to be building a project that is going to be very fun. So here you can see that I type gradient on Google and you can see a different type of gradients that I have. You can go from one color to another or different colors going one color to another then to another and all of these you can create them in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to go and find origami because in this project or in this course we're going to be building an origami figure. So you can pick whatever one you like. Try to find one that has a lot of folds so you can get a lot of different gradients right there. So for myself I'm going to pick the crane because I think in this photo uh, it's looking very nice. You can see the difference from going from one color to another. This one is all white but it's going from one gray to another. You're going to save that image or find your image or take a photo of something you did with origami and then go to Illustrator, create a new document by going to File, New, Control N. Make sure that you pick a size that works with your image and that your color mode is RGB because you're not going to be printing this project. And once you've done that, just create your document and that's it. Now the next step is to put your image in Illustrator. So to do that, you are going to go to File, Place, or Control Shift P. Then pick that image that you downloaded, or you pick, or you took the photo. Place it, and then while I uh, scale it, I press Shift to constrain the proportions. Now that your image is placed, you can go to Layers. And if you don't see that window, because sometimes your illustrator is different or you have a different layout, what you can do is go to Window, Layers, or press F7 on your keyboard. Now go to click, double click on that little thumbnail, and here you could name your layer or select Template. And what this is going to do is going to dim your image to the percentage you selected. Now go to Ledgers and click on that little icon that is New Ledger. So you just create a new ledger. 